All right, everybody, welcome back to the Doze Ship. Let's keep building it. All righty, so we're starting the second round. I am still the first player, and it is so good to be the first player in this game because there are so many really great spots to grab. And I think for starters, well, these double spots are always the best spots to go with because you get to do two actions for one space. Now, unfortunately, if there were a double spot that let me build two gondolas, that would be awesome because I would just get both these gondolas built at once and make six plus... I'd make 10 bucks off of these two, but such a space does not exist. So, I do want to take advantage, so I think I'm going to grab one of these. There's two spots on the board, and of course, with more players, there's more of them. There's, there's more of these cool spaces. But in a two-player game, there's this spot that lets me get a gondola plus a barrier, and this one, which is a gondola plus a doze ship piece. I think I want me a doze ship piece, so I'm going to come up here. Now, unfortunately, it cost me two bucks to do it. One, two. And uh, now, because I've come here, I will get a doze ship plus a gondola plus another gondola. So I'm going to be drowning in gondolas. In fact, actually, wait a minute. You cannot have more than four items under construction at one point in your, in your yards. So I'm about to get one, two, three, four, five. Yep, nope, that's all cool. I'll be totally full up of gondolas and I'll just be the craziest shipbuilder in all of Venice. So I paid my two bucks. And let's do it. First of all, I get to pick, take three gondolas and pick one. Uh, four, five, five, one, a four, zero, and oh, now this is interesting. For one bucks, I can get two favors. And you just saw how important favors are. I think I'm going to take this one because I already have some nice money ones. Now this cost me one buck. Even though it was a free action, a bonus action, I still had to pay the buck that's written on the tile. All right. Now I get to do it again. I get to take three more. So I'll have another gondola. All right, so this is a 5-1, ah, a 0-1 favor, and a 3-0. I think I'm going to take a, I'm going to, let's see, this one doesn't cost me anything. Wow, I'm going to be drowning in favors and money once I get all these crazy gondolas built. All right, and then finally, I get a doge piece. And now, now there's no reason for me to take middle pieces or right pieces because I can't build in those areas yet. Not until in a two-player game we have built two left pieces, one for the top, two for the top and two for the bottom. Then we move on to the middle section. So do I want to get another bottom or another middle? Well, I can't build I'm sorry, top. I can't build the top without the bottom in there because you always have to build from the, from the bottom left, outwards and upwards. So I can't build this until this is built, so I guess I'll take another bottom piece. One, two, three. And what do I want to get? Let's see. It's a real shame, a lot of these cards you'll see, it has this kind of misprint where obviously they goofed up at the printers and left all this white space. Really quite a shame. I'll probably talk a bit more about the production quality of this game in the final thoughts. You can wait for that later. But anyway, so two, three, or four bucks. Now I'm at seven bucks now. Um, and let's see. And this one gives me a favor. Yeah, what the heck? I'm going to go for it. One, two, three, four. So. And now this stays face up. These are all face down. Nobody knows what bonuses these will give me. I mean, everybody knows it's either money or favors, but nobody knows how much. But everybody can see what part of the ship I'm planning on building. And so these go away to the bottom of the deck. Do, do, do. Okay, and that was my first turn. And now I have five. If I, I cannot take, if I want to take any more gondolas, uh, what do you call them, barriers or ship pieces to build, I'd have to throw one of these away. So I am all stuffed over at our shipyard. So now it's Jen's turn. She gets to go first now. Now she's in the same spot. She gets gondola bonuses. So it probably makes sense for her. She would have taken this if she could, but it probably makes sense for her to do this. This would give her two gondolas and a, uh, well, what do you call it, uh, barrier. Now she's not worried about barriers because there's no flooding coming. But that's always a danger. Me, I've got two barriers, so I can withstand a level one flood with no problems. Jen, with only one barrier, cannot withstand any flood at all. So the more barriers you build, not only do they give you these new abilities that replace your old abilities, but they also protect you from floods. But there's no flood coming right now. Let's see. But still, getting another barrier and getting a bunch of cash. She can see how much cash I'm going to earn, so she doesn't want to fall too far behind in the cash, and she wants to take advantage of her, of her special benefit. But you know, instead, she could say, come over here, which is, which is free as well. And this would let her get a doze ship plus a gondola. And she can start working on the doze ships. Now she can see, I'm going to try and build. She knows I'm going to try and build the bottom left piece this round. And um, so that's interesting. 
All right, so she might want to go ahead and grab a top piece so she'd be able to build. Or, more importantly, she could go on ahead and try to grab a middle piece. And then after I build my left piece, then she would have access to the middle. And that's important because right now, the Doge wants the middle built, as you can see. So if Jen could build a middle piece, that would be really, really fantastic. But does she want to give up this other really good spot? Hmm. Let's see. Der, 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 der. Right. Now she knows if I'm going to build that I'm probably going to come here because this is the... Oh wait, no, no, no. Where's the... Is there a build ship plus... No, there's not. There is no build ship plus gondola. There's only build ship plus barrier. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting too. The fact that this is here... Yeah, I think Jen would like to go for a gondola. Or, I'm sorry, a, a, a doge piece, but she's going to wait on it. She's going to do this, which gets her two gondolas and a barrier. So, first of all, she gets her bonus gondola, which could cost her zero or one bucks. Let's see, here's a favor. And it's another, another bad off print. Oh, such a shame. And this is a 5 1 and a 5 1. So, it's really the 6 1 that is the best. So, um, where, yeah, mm, yeah, she'll take, she, she, she cares about favors too. But she does care about money. But she's going to get a gondola. She'll be happy with just one gondola, I think. So, actually, she's going to get two gondolas. So that was her first gondola she's taking. Now she gets a barrier. Right. And these ones cost one, one, and zero. So this is one, this one's free, but the other ones would cost her. Because this is just collecting the resources. This is, whenever you get money from those two money spaces, get a victory point. This is the same one I had, but now it's its value 22. Jen does not want to keep going last. Jen is kind of sick of that. I think Jen's going to take this one uh, because it's an eight. So that could put her in first place. It beats my nine. So she got that. Everything else goes away. And now she gets one more gondola to build. One, two, three. Let's see. Oh, and here we go. For one buck, she could get six bucks. That's better than zero, four or zero, three. Well, actually zero, well, anyway, she's going to spend one buck to get six bucks. All right, so now she's got two gondolas and a barrier, all that which need to be built. Back to me, back to my turn, okay. So I need to start building all this stuff, but here's the problem. Um, well, no, this is good. This is good to build right now. Uh, it's two, it's, this is worth, oh wait, red is bad. Red is minus one. So I'd get two for the blue, minus one for the red, plus one for the green. So I'd get two bonus points, but this is not really the best time to build this. Because I'm building on the left, and I, um, so do I want to do some intrigue and change the doge before I build? I think I do, but I'm going to go a little bit further. I'm going to go crazy on the intrigue. Anytime you want to do this, you can spend, this is not taking action, you can spend two bucks, and what that lets you do is, that lets you rearrange your barrier stack, which I'm going to do now, and put my other one on top. So now I've got my old superpower back of doing victory points for intrigue, and you better bet I'm going to do some intrigue. For starters, I'll go on ahead and do this one over here because now I get a victory point and a favor. And plus, you know how many other favors I'm going to be getting off all this stuff. So I'm pretty happy about that. And I took it before Jen could take it. Now it's Jen's turn. She's going to go on ahead and stick to her original plan, which is now she can build a barrier and one of her two gondolas. So this barrier gets built, and boom, it's an eight. And from now on, Jen gets additional barriers whenever she gets building materials. And she will be first player. Although she was going to be it anyway, because I went and turned that 20 up. Oh well, and so she gets to build one of these two. I think she'll build the one that gets her six bucks rather than the one that gets her one favor because she's getting lower on cash. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and then she's still got one more gondola to build. Now, for my third action, now I'm going to continue with my string of intrigue and I'll come over here and that scores me another point and I get to change the doge's mind. So hopefully I can find something that matches what I want to build. All right, this is in the lower left, so that's where I want to build. And two, right, so this is two bonus points, but it's a favor for building the lower left. This one is two, three bonus points. Oh, and look at this, it's flooding as well. Oh wow, they're both flooding, oh dear. Neither Jen nor I have enough barriers to deal with this flooding. So either way, I have now brought on the flood, because I have to pick one of these, I can't leave the other one in play. 
So this one would score me three points for building this, plus it would score me, um, but, I, but I would give up, I would, I would not get an extra favor. Whereas this one is building the right spot, so I get a favor, but it's only two points. I think I'll take the two points in the favor. So this one, do I wanna bury this? I think I wanna bury this, because I don't wanna see any more flooding tiles for a while. And then this one becomes the new top one. And Jen can say, oh my gosh, what are you doing? You're trying to flood us out, ah! Okay, so I did some intrigue, I got a point, and I changed things to be a little bit better, but we are both in danger of flooding. We both need to, if we, if we wanna avoid the dangers, we both need to build some more barriers. And now that Jen knows that, she says, oh, Okay, well, how fortunate for her, she just got this thing that gives her bonus barriers whenever she tries to collect resources. So I think she's gonna take advantage of that and the fact that there's a floods a coming. So what is she gonna do? So there's lots of places. She's gonna get a barrier, but see, here's the thing. If she builds one more barrier, it'll be three. That means, but to completely be unaffected by the flood, her barrier needs to be higher. So she needs to have four barriers built before this round is over. Now alternatively, she could do some intrigue of her own and change that tile. But she doesn't get a point like I do. And maybe, oh, that, you know, but maybe she wants to do intrigue because she could do intrigue before I get a chance to build this because it's good for me to build. Nah, she's just gonna let go. She's gonna do some more barriers. Plus the other tricky thing too, if she builds another barrier, it would, you know, well, yeah, okay, what the heck, she's gonna do it. She is going to go, uh, let's see, all the double collections are gone now, so she has to go for a single collection. So she's gotta ask herself, she gets a free barrier. Does she wanna collect two barriers? Does she wanna do a barrier and a gondola so she has more money? Or a barrier, she has a lot of money, although this is just another, or a barrier and another, um, what do you call it, an another doze ship piece. Now if she gets another doze ship piece, she knows she knows that I won't try to intrigue it out from under her because we would have a mutual benefit if she could get the same colors as me. I think she's gonna try and take advantage of that. She knows I'm gonna build low. She's gonna try and build medium again. So she wants a spot where there's a doze ship and then she'll get this barrier for free as well. So she will take this one. All right, so she's collecting building materials. She gets a barrier for free. One, two, three. Let's see. And now one buck, zero bucks, one buck. So these both cost, and this one's free. Whenever she builds, she builds a gondola for free. Oh, wow. She could get this gondola. Oh, yeah. Although this is much higher. She might lose her turn order again, but still lower than the 20. Or this one. Oh, this is collect a doze ship for free every time. Wow, these are all nice. But she's going to take this because that means she'll get to build her um, gondola at the same time she builds her barrier, let's say. So that'll be nice. Okay. So these ones get buried. And now, the reason she came here, it could be a gondola or a, um, a uh, doge piece, a doge ship. She's going to take the doge ship. One, two, three. And hopefully, see, so this one, or actually, let's just grab the, the doge tile and compare. Sorry, folks, on the static cam, it's all kind of far away, but let's see. So red is the best. Red, so it's just red. Wow, this is two. So this, this is worth two points. Um... Hmm. And this is worth negative one, and this is worth zero. So this is the best one at two, and it's a favor, and it's two victory points. Hmm. All right. And that costs her five bucks. Yeah. All right. So she can afford that. One, two, three, four, five. So she's going to build this one. These ones get buried. Now, unfortunately, she's building in the middle. So that does not get her any favors for building in the middle. But on the other hand, the doge isn't visiting this turn, so she's not that worried about it. So she's taking this one. Now it's my turn, I got two more actions. I wanna get this ship built. Although, now that I, well, let's see, I was gonna say, I could do an intrigue now, but if I do an intrigue that would hurt Jen, because of colors, it would hurt me too, because we have the same colors. So that's really interesting. So, by Jen making that move, she's kind of nullified my ability to use intrigue to my advantage. So maybe I should just go on ahead and, and get something built, huh? Let's see here. Now, the nice thing is, no, there's not. I said what, what I want is to build a ship and a, and a uh, not a pagoda, a, a gondola at the same time, but there is no build ship plus gondola. There's a ship plus barrier. So that's too bad. 
so I can't get a nice double build here. But, I uh, see. So I, I guess I'm just going to build the ship. We'll see. Yeah, because I, I do want to get that favor while the getting is good. So where am I going to build my ship? I'll just come over here. This space lets me build a ship. So I do that, and I'm going to build this. And now I get one favor. I get one victory point. And I get the victory points based on colors. So that's two. So it's two more victory points. One, two. And because I built in the lower left quadrant, which is what the Doge likes at this point, I get another favor. So I've got, I've got three favors to Jen's none. That's my turn. And now Jen um, is going to, uh, before I would intrigue and make this a bad thing for her to build, she's going to build it while the building is good. She'll go on ahead and come over here. Let's say, oh no, actually she wants to go to a place, because maybe I'm going to try and build a gondola. If she could block access to building gondolas, that would be in her best interest. But no, she can't. Look, there's this place and this place. There's multiple places to build gondolas. So she'll just come over here. And so now she could build either a barrier or a doge piece. She doesn't have any barriers. She's going to build the doge piece. Plus, she also gets a bonus build of a gondola. So first she's going to build her gondola. Boom! It's a, what do you call it? A favor. So now Jen's back in the favor game. And now she's going to build her piece, which gets her two points. One, two. A favor. So, Jen is narrowing the favor gap. Now, unfortunately, since this is in the top middle, the Doge doesn't care. She won't get a favor for that. But she gets two for the red and nothing else. So she gets two more. One, two. So she's pretty much keeping up. All right. And sorry. Right. There we go. There we go. And now Jen has three barriers to my two. And so Jen is much more prepared for this flood than I am. And you know what? I think before, that with my final worker this turn, I don't want to get flooded, because if I get flooded, what will happen is if this flood happens, it's a level three, um, if I have, for, for every barrier I am short, I, I, let's see, what is it? No, if I have fewer barriers, I will lose two workers next turn. If I have an equal number of barriers to the flood, I'll lose one worker. And if I have more barriers, I'll lose nothing. Now, I don't want to lose any workers. So I'm going to do some more intrigue that scores me another point, and I'm going to try and change and make that flood go away. And so here's another flood. This would hit me and it wouldn't bother Jen. So I just can't do this one. Let's bury that flood. I don't want to see any floods. And instead, it's the Doge visit. And now the Doge visit is good for me because I have more Doge tokens, so I could potentially win on that. And now Jen's bummed because when this one comes out, she could have gotten a favor if she had waited one turn. If she had waited until I changed things, but you know that might have made her score fewer points on the thing she built. So, anyway, so that was it. The flood threat is suddenly over. And the Doge is going to visit, I guess, because the flood isn't happening. And now Jen's got one more worker to place. And interestingly, Jen's 16 to my 20. That means Jen is going to get to be first player next turn. What does she want to do with her last turn? Um, let's see. Well, she could just get three bucks. Because she's, well, yeah. Because she has no money. That's kind of a problem. Now, she could pay, oh, yeah. She's going to pay two bucks. One, two. And she's going to rearrange her thing. And I believe... Because she's gonna she's gonna gather some goods. So she wanna gather an extra gondola or an extra I think she'll gather an extra gondola because she cares more about money. So she's rearranged, and now she's gonna go out and gather resources. So she's gonna get herself. Oh, no, 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 no. As much as extra money is good. Well, no, she just doesn't have enough money. She is going to need more money, yeah, so she'll take a gondola. I was going to say she'd like to get a barrier because then the first action she could take next turn would be build barrier plus doe ship if she bought a barrier and doe ship right now. But she's so low on cash, she might not be able to afford a doe ship because, um, you know, they get really expensive. And now that all of these level ones have been built, we, we have to move on to level twos. And I believe the, the, uh, the range here is four to seven. And I think the range here is five to eight. And the range here is three to six. So Jen only has four bucks. There is every chance she would not be able to afford any of the doe ship tiles she revealed. So she's going to build a gondola or get, grab her resources for a gondola and for another gondola. So she's coming here. She's going to get herself two gondolas. So first she draws these three. And let's see, there's the 5 1, the 4 0, and the 3 0. The 4 0 is the best of those, so she'll take that. And then she gets three more. Although, you know, if she went, if she, if she grabbed a, a barrier, first thing she could do next turn is build her barrier and her. No, wait, I'm sorry, where is that? She could build 
No, no, there is no build barrier and gondola at the same time. Yes, there is right there. So she grabs a barrier, first thing next turn, she could build a gondola and a barrier at once. That's super efficient. Yeah, let's say she's gonna do that. She's gonna get another barrier. Let's see. 26, every time you build, build an extra doge piece. That could really speed the game up. Every time you get money, get a what's it, oh. But you can see, you know it's better because the numbers are so much worse. The initiative. Oh my goodness gracious. But it's all about, well, they, I think the number one concern Jen has is running out of cash, in all honesty, because um, you know she, I, she knows I'm gonna make a lot of money off all these gondolas, she's only got one. So I think she'll take this one that will benefit her when she takes cash, she gets an extra favor. And so these ones get buried. All right, and that was Jen's last action. And so now at the end of the turn, um, we check the doge, the doge visit. So again, we have to do our little secret and now it's more interesting. It is still pretty obvious that I've got three and Jen's got two. So if we just bet all of our stuff, then of course I'll win. I'll get six points and Jen will get three points for coming in second. But here's the tricky thing. At the end, of the, you wanna save your doge chips because once the game is over, once the doge ship is built, whoever has the most leftover favor tiles at the end of the game scores nine bonus points at the end of the game. And whoever comes in second scores five. So there is a five point spread of points waiting at the end. So while the obvious thing would be for me to just go on ahead and reveal all three and guarantee my six points now, if I only reveal two, if Jen only reveals one, I'll, st I'll get a better return on these favors. But you know what? I don't think I want to take a chance. I definitely want to get my six bonus points, particularly because remember, I know I've got more favors down here that are coming. So I'll go on ahead and we all reveal at the same time. When I revealed, I revealed three. Ha ha, I say. And when Jen revealed, she revealed one because she suspected that she didn't think she could beat me. And she, but she figured I was gonna spend all three, I did. And so, Jen came in second, only spending one favor, and that gave her three points. So she got three points for one favor. I spent three points to get six favors. Three, four, five, six. So I only got a two for three, or you know, a one for two. You know, I got a much poorer return on my favors than Jen did. All right, and now, um, let's see, there's no flooding. So that was the end of the second round. We take our workers back. We reveal what the next doge tile for the third round will be, and let's see, it's the doge visiting again, wow. I mean, a lot of times he doesn't come at all, but this particular game, he just can't stop hanging around. You can see there's a picture of him just like uh, coming and watching as we build a thing. He just, we just can't get rid of the guy. Let's see, and reds are the best, greens are the worst, and we re-roll to see what the market will bear. What's the market look like? A four, a four, and a five. A pretty good market, okay, and Jen's 11 versus 20 means Jen, for the first time in the game, is the first player. Right, and remember, she wanted to jump at that two and one build, but I don't think she's going to, um, because she also, oh, but she's so broke. <sighs> Should she gather more resources? If she comes here, it's free, and she can get another barrier and another gondola and another gondola, and that, okay, she's gonna do that. She's definitely gonna do that. So. She gets two gondolas and a barrier, and that'll be all five things under construction. So is it um, a barrier and two gondolas? So this is the barrier she's gonna get. Uh, those are one of the gondolas. This is the other gondola, and this is the barrier she's gonna get. And she's got to pick the best of the three for each of these. Let's see. Now she knows she's got this barrier, money into points. And here's another money into points, although this one's better at 23 instead of 24. Um, let's see. This is build an extra gondola, and this is um, when you do money, extra money. I think she'll take the build extra gondola so she can make money faster by building gondolas for free when she builds. Okay, so she's gonna take that, and so that was the barrier she's grabbing, and now she had two gondolas, one for the board and one for her extra. Six zero, that's probably the one, oh, no, it's a, I'm sorry, six one, a three zero and a four zero. She'll take the six one, which cost her a, uh, a buck. By the way, I don't remember, I think I didn't pay this buck when Jen grabbed this before. I'm pretty sure I forgot that. All right, so these gondolas go away. Oh dear, I'm putting stuff into the wrong piles. There we go. These gondolas go away. And this cra game's crazy. We're building a lot of gondolas. Or actually, it's just that I'm kind of... Dob, are you okay? Dob, Dobby. You okay, Bob? Oh, 
She has something stuck in her throat. She, she's an old girl. She's a half time once in a while. You okay, pup? Okay, good. Let's see. So, Jen has another gondola coming. The 5-1, the 5-1, or the 5-1. I guess she'll take a 5-1. How about that? All right. So that was Jen's first move. And now she's prepped to make a lot of cash and build up to protect herself from floods. Because more floods are coming. All right, and now my first move. Uh, do I want to grab the other double build? Well, no, actually it's no good because it requires ship. I don't have anywhere near enough money to build. So I think it's time for me to start building my gondolas. Um, although, if I had a barrier that would let me build a, a plus one gondola, that'd be really, really great. I wonder if I should go grab a barrier. Hmm. Well, see, because I'm thinking I'd love to do this barrier, but I can see that Jen's going to do it anyway. Let's see. Although, actually, wait a minute. I should go here, but it cost me a buck to go here and prevent Jen from getting her two-for-one build. Because I don't think I have to do both of those things, and therefore I could block Jen, although it would cost me a buck. But it would cost her more in terms of efficiency. Let's see here. Um, yeah. Yep, yep. So I think I am going to pay one buck. That's my last dollar. And I'm going to come here to build one of my gondolas. And that buy stops Jen from getting her double build, which she was so excited about. So I'm only going to build one of my gondolas. It'll have to be um, one with the money. There it is. So I get six bucks for building that gondola. One, oops. Back up to six. Hooray. All right. And Jen's very bummed that I blocked that. That was going to be so awesome for her. But now, she's got three gondolas to build, and this thing lets her build a bonus gondola whenever she does. So I think she wants to build her barriers first, so she can get this out, so she can build her other gondolas faster. And again, she would have gone here if she could, but she can't, because I was a dick. Uh, which is uh, short for Richard, as it happens. Anyway, so, Jen's second action is she needs to build a gondola, or she wants to build a barrier, so that she can um, be more efficient later. Several places she can do it, she'll just go on ahead and go there. That's building a barrier. It is this barrier, and now when she builds, if she builds, uh, she could build two gondolas and get a bunch of money back all at once. Okay, my turn. All right, now I've still got a bunch of gondolas to build myself if I want to get enough money to build some more doe ships. Or I could spend some money to get the old intrigue back out. Oh, wait, no, the intrigue is still up. Um, I think, first of all, one, two, I will spend two bucks and get another favor while the getting is good because I still have this thing. I'm suffering for it, I don't get to go first, but those free points, they really add up over the course of the game. So, that was my second move. Jen's third move. Now she's gonna build herself two gondolas at once by coming, oh, I don't know. Oh, although she could come here, this would let her build a barrier plus a gondola for free. Now this other barrier gives her more money when she goes to money, but she's still got a bunch of gondolas to build. I think she does just want to build a gondola, but that might be good next turn. So she'll just come here, choose to build a gondola, which is this one, which gets her four bucks. One, two, three, four. All right, and now it's my turn. And, see I still got some gondolas to build also, but I've got enough money now. Well no, there's no guarantee because, actually again, I think the cheapest these middle ones get is five. I don't even have five bucks. So I want to build another gondola too, and I'm not building them as fast as Jen. This is kind of painful. Um, but I will go on ahead and build another gondola right there. So I will get another one. Let's see, that's a favor. Don't need the favors right now. Well actually I do need the favors because the doge is coming. Doge is coming. Oh, this is my last money one, so I will build this one and get four more bucks. One, two, three, four. All right. And now it's Jen's turn again. She's going to also build another uh, gondola. She'll come over here. And again, because of her bonus, she gets to build both of these gondolas. So she just made six plus five. She just made 11 bucks. 17. Jen is rich. All right. So this, this, we're kind of taking a break from the building the Doge ship to kind of re, uh, refund, re, refuel our... Right, and so I've still got two gondolas. I got seven bucks. Before the round is over, I would like to build a doe ship. So, I've got enough money now. So let's go on ahead and pay one buck to get doe ship plus gondola. And you know what? Before I do, I'll pay two more bucks to swap my guys around so I'll get an extra gondola. So this means I get a doe ship and two gondolas. So, let's see, I'll, I'll, go on, I'll build on the bottom of the doe ship. One, two, three. So I gotta pick one. And I get two gondolas because I swapped my barriers. I'll come back to those in a second. Right. Now, red is the best, green is the worst. 
So this one is okay at only two points. This one could be best if I, if I could put yellow on top. I think I'll take this one, even though it costs me five. It takes all the rest of my money to get this one. Although, no, I'll take this one, five, but it also gets me a favor. So I'll put these away. Now, actually, I don't think I'm gonna build this round because I'd probably wanna do some intrigue first before I do it to make the situation better. And I've lost my bonus points for intrigue. But that's okay, um, because mostly I, I did the swap so I could get two gondolas instead of one. So now this is a 0, 4, a 0, 3, no thanks, and then a 1, 5, no thanks, I'll take the 0, 4. Okay, and the 0 favor, uh, 1, 5, and 0, 3. I'll take the favor. Because remember, at the end of the game, there's that five point swing for whoever has the most favors. Okay. So that was a pretty nice move and I've got one more move I could make. And Jen's got, this is her last move. She could build her last, um, what do you call it? Barrier, which it wouldn't be time to actually get any money for it for the benefit of it. So she's got so much money now. I think instead she wants to set herself up so that the next turn, if, um, although she's not first. Oh, look at this, 14. I think what she's gonna do, first of all, she's gonna pay two bucks and rearrange her stack and, and uh, increase her buying potential. Let's see, she want the buying or the gondolas? She has enough money now, I think she'll put the uh, barrier on top. All right, and so now she's gonna go shopping, which means she'll get a barrier for free. And what does she want? She wants a barrier and a doge piece ship of her own. So she'll come shopping here. This is a doge piece plus a free barrier. She knows I'm gonna build low, so she'll just go on ahead and build high again and benefit from me. And she'll try, again, to choose the same colors as me so she doesn't have to worry about my intrigue. Although there is no perfect match. This is pretty close though, and that's pretty good. She'll go for that one. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a little bit off, because she's got a yellow instead of a green but hopefully that'll work out for her. Okay. And she gets another barrier as well. One, two, three. Okay, every time you do an intrigue, two bucks. Every time you do an intrigue, two bucks. And every time you collect stuff, extra doge piece. I think she'll take this, because um, this would be really nice to have as a low number and, and another way to make some money. And you know, because I'm always messing with this intrigue stuff, this would give her a bonus for messing with intrigue stuff as well. She's pretty happy with that. Okay, and that was the end of the third round. We didn't get hardly anything built, although we're set up to build next turn, especially Jen, because she's currently gonna go first again with eight, and so she, if she gets in here first with the um, barrier plus ship, she can get two things built with one action, so that'd be a very nice turn for her. But in the meantime, it's the end of the round, no flooding, the doge is visiting again. We each have one, and I think we'll both each reveal one to, um, to prevent either of us from getting a benefit, so we each get six points. One, two, three, four, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All righty, and uh, Jen's got the low number. She's still first. We take all our workers back. Boop, -bidi boop, 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 and I am broke. And Jen's still sitting on nine bucks. All right, and we roll to see what the market's gonna be like. And oh, the market is going to be tight. Well, not quite. Green is still flush, but oh, that's scary. Particularly bad when you're out of money to find that so many things cost. Although I can flip this money anytime I want. It just takes me a while because I don't have that nice two for one build like Jen does. But on the flip side, I got a lot more points. Interesting, and Jen gets to go first. And I think even though it costs her a buck, she does not want to, I did that trick where I paid a buck to prevent her from getting her, um, her extra, um, although no, actually if she, if she knows if I come here just to block this, I won't build anything. Cause, oh no, I, I'd come here to build my ship piece. Oh wait, oh and we forgot. I think I forgot once before as well to put the new piece out. Oh, okay, and the new piece, it's building where, Jen, where, where I'd like to build, a negative one, zero, and two. So this is, gets one bonus point. Oh my gosh, look at this flooding tile, it's a five. Oh, there will be much flooding if nobody intrigues that away. Very scary. Jen has no reason to because she could get to that five without too much trouble. Me, I've still only got a two level barrier. Oh my God. So, but still, Jen's got to worry. Am I going to snake this out from under her so I can build my ship piece and thereby prevent her from getting her extra? I don't think she wants to take a chance. She will pay. She will come here. She will get this built. Although, wait, no, no, she can't though, because she took the top middle. She can't build this until I build. Wow, I didn't think about that, did I? So Jen's gotta go somewhere else. She's still first player, so she could um, benefit, well, she could benefit from this one, which is free still, and get herself one barrier and one gondola. So she'll go ahead and do that. 
one barrier and one gondola, and then it's my turn, and I need cash. I gotta start building these things. And, um, oh, shoot. But, you know what? I think we're gonna stop right there because I think you guys have a good idea. The ship's a third of the way built. I'm ahead in points, Jen's ahead in money. I'm sitting on a lot of money, I gotta convert it. It'll take me a while to do it. Jen spent most of her turn last turn doing it in a much more effective way than I can because I don't have the two for one gondola build. But, I'm gonna quit right there and gonna go to final thoughts now. And you can join me by hitting the button or following the show notes in five, four, three, two, one. Say bye Tula. Tula. That's all you get is a, all right, bye-bye.